Hey y'all, happy Monday. I hope everybody is doing great and that you had a good weekend. To the thousand, a little over a thousand people that just watched my video that went up on antiquing in Woodbury, Tennessee, I am so sorry uh, and thank you for watching it. It had to have been miserable. So I just watched it on my TV um, to sac when I got home from school because it took two days to upload which I don't, I mean, I've had it take that long before, but I, it took me almost an hour to edit it. Um, you know, cutting stuff out, adding the pictures, picking out the music, all of that stuff. Um, and then when I watched it and, and I did, you know, I watched it back and everything on my end. And then we went through the two days of upload. Um, and then, so, but when I watched it on my TV, once it had uploaded to YouTube, there was absolutely no sound. What a miserable video to watch. So thank you for all of you that watched it and then left nice comments about the things that we found. But I did delete that video from YouTube um, and I can't even edit it and re-put it up because I had already, once they upload, I delete it all. Um, so it was a shop with me. Clearly it is just not meant for me to do shop with me's because all my shop with me's are just debacles. So anyway, I had some great finds. What I'm gonna do is some of those, most of them I think I have styled. Um, I'm gonna just kind of walk around and show you the things that I've already styled. Some things I haven't, some things I'm waiting on spring, um, you know, when I change up my decor. But anyway, I wanted to hop on, apologize for that. But then we had gone to an estate sale that I have not yet showed y'all our finds that we got. So I wanted to do that real quick. Now, the first thing I'm going to start with is, of course, Greg went for milk glass and he got five pieces of the English hobnail milk glass. And the first one is this odd thing. This is the opening of it. Um, I guess it's a vase of some sort. He thinks it's really cool. And of course now he's on the hunt for two because he always wants two. Now he loves covered dishes. And so he um, found this. And I do not remember prices. I am really bad about not paying attention to um, what he gets as far as milk glass. But there's this cool covered dish. He sort of has his own collection going of just the covered candy type dishes. And he got this one. So they are a set. You know, sometimes you'll find them and there'll be little differences. It'll be um, maybe English hobnail, but different patterns, but these all go together. These people were collectors. Um, they had every kind of depression glass you could think of. They had lots of milk glass. They had um, glassware I've not even seen before. I mean, they just, it was a beautiful estate sale. He got two, well, one each of the um, oil and vinegar good shape, no chips. You know, a lot of times you'll see these without the stoppers. So it was fortunate that both these had stopper. He wouldn't have got them if they hadn't. But you know, if you're in thrift stores, a lot of times you'll see the oil and vinegar bottles and there won't be a stopper. Um, I have my own collection of oil and vinegar little bottles. I like the clear glass ones. So, but here's the real reason. Oh, hold on. Let me show you one more thing before I show you the real reason we went to that estate sale. Now we did get this. And um, I think this is the gratitude. The frame is really nice. Look, I think this is like a 16 by 20. Um, it was, this is the back. Now this is not a painting. This is that, um, I guess where it was probably like some type of poster mounted on a board. I'm not really exactly sure what this is called. And for those of you that have seen my guide rolls, you know that we have this paint in a smaller size, but it is an actual painting. So this, and I paid $5 for that one at an estate sale. This one was 15. 
and it was just in such good shape um, that Greg really could not leave it for $15. Um, I, I don't know. I want to say that I'm probably not going to have both of them up in my house at the same time, but who knows? I might. Um, I had talked, thought about maybe selling the smaller one, but I like it because it's a painting, and I like that this one is substantial, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to display that or where I'm going to put it, but of course, you'll see that as soon as I do, but now back to why we really targeted this estate sale. So, they had some glassware pictured that I had never seen before. Um, I talked to a friend of mine that's an antique dealer. She had never seen it before. And the people running the estate sale had never seen it. Um, and I'm going to have to insert, a, I'm just, okay, we're gonna do a little chatting thing here. So many of the people making videos, they have words that run across their screen. I cannot get my computer to do that. So, I'm working on learning, y'all. I can't stand computers. I hate technology. I'm going to insert a picture here where I write the name of what this glassware is in case you're interested in it. So that's a mouthful. I'm not even going to really attempt to say that. But this um, glassware, the glass company started in 18, the 1860s, and this particular glassware was manufactured in the 1880s. Um, I am shocked that it's still, you know, around, that it survived, but here it is. Now, this is the creamer. Look at this. It is hobnail. It is so pretty, and when you put your hand down in here, um, I don't know a lot about glassware and how it's made, but you can like feel the ridges. You know, I don't, I don't know, um, you know, I don't know how they make this, but, or especially how they made it back in the 1880s, but it is very beautiful, eye-catching, and y'all, it's yellow, so you know that Greg was like, oh my gosh, we have to get that. Now, this little picture was $20. And then we got this big pitcher. They call this a lemonade pitcher. <clears throat> it is frosted. Now, if truth be told, I don't like the frosted. I wish that it were clear like the, um, the, the little creamer pitcher. I have searched eBay to see if they have a clear one. Um, and so as soon as I typed it in, some of this glassware did pop up. There's bowls and berry bowl, like a sugar, and I have the creamer. There's like a syrup container. Um, but I have not seen like dinner plates or anything like that. So this is absolutely beautiful. We got this and we got four tumbler glasses to go with it. Now they had the bowls and some of the berry bowls. Um, you know, they had a few of the pieces, but we just wanted the pitcher and the tumblers. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. I just got the, the bar cart to looking good. Many of you saw my short where I um, gifted Greg the hobnail punch bowl for our anniversary that he has wanted forever. Um, and so I, you know, I don't know what to do with it. I'm not gonna pack it up. I can tell you that, but I'm just not real sure where you're gonna see this displayed in our house. So this pitcher and four glasses we got for $88. Um, Cause I know so many of you like to know prices. I, you know, if you go on eBay, the prices are all over the board. So um, I'm not sure if you were to try to purchase what you would get, but anyway, it's a beautiful set. It was a unique set and it was something that we had to have. And again, it was yellow. So you all know Greg loves the yellow. Okay, so that is it for our haul. Um, what I'm gonna do is go around and show you some of the things that were in the video that was del got deleted that we have styled. There's, a, you know, like I said, several things I don't have styled, but we do have some. And again, I wanna thank the over a thousand people of you that sat through that miserable video. I am so sorry, but I really do not think it was on my end. Like I said, I had added music, I had cut out, add, you know, 
edited it, the whole thing. It took me like an hour, almost an hour to do it. But anyway, let's take a look at the things I've styled. All right. Okay, so first up is this three horn thing. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's got a funny name. If you are a milk glass lover and a, um, a fan of the Fenton, then you have seen this before. Y'all, I think this is ridiculous looking, but Greg won this at auction, and he was very excited to be able to get that. We got this beautiful ironstone bowl. You can see how stained. Let me see if I can focus. How stained and crazed it is. That was only $12, y'all, and it looks great there with the layering of the white and the stained in the pitcher. So I was very excited to find that. I got this huge flower frog, and it was only $12. So if you are a hunter of flower frogs, you know that for the size of that, $12 was a great deal. And for now, it's not really styled. I just kind of have it sticking out underneath there. I got this cheese box. Um, it was only, I think it was $8 or 12. I'm not sure. Um, but it was, you know, I'm going to grab a cheese box anytime they're affordable. I finally found a tomato pin cushion. It was $8 and um, I have been looking for one of those has these cute little pins in it. And look, this one got turned around probably because Hazel was up here. But look at that little cute hummingbird pin in it. That was so cute. So y'all, I finally put my sewing little vignettes together. I think it's gonna stay that way. I'm pretty happy with it for now. Oh, I also got two um, spools. To add to my collection so those are just a few little things that tomato is so cute there and we found a larger sifter so we brought them up to our bedroom we have the smaller one up there and we have this large one here I think we want one at least one more to have a collection of three and then I will go ahead and show you my mantle that I have changed. I've not showed you this mirror. We got this at TJ's Antiques and Collectibles. Uh, I was waiting to show that whenever I tour their store, but it is a beautiful mirror. I absolutely love it. So I wanted a collection of mirrors. So just kind of come up with that. There are those cute little kids. They're not my kids, but they're cute. I got those at Four Sisters. I've already showed you that. There's the ironstone picture we got from Four Sisters. Just some brass candlestick holders I had thrifted during the summer. You've seen this picture, but I thought that it looked good. Kind of matched the era of the little kids. All right, y'all, so that is some of the things that I have gotten styled from the video that a lot of you did not get to see, um, but there'll be plenty more decorating coming up. Y'all, I just got everything done for Valentine's Day, and I already want to take it down and start focusing on spring. I cannot stay in the season. I have, I'm always jumping ahead thinking about what I want to do. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and watching, and until I see you again, happy thrifting.